Hello, YouTube. Uh, today is the third uh, episode of Calcium Reactor Series where I like to tell you how I have assembled it and how I have tuned it. So, uh, this is my Calcium 140 and it's there among this uh, hub of uh, <coughs> jungle of wires. It's not recommended though, but uh, I don't have any other place so as long as it is sealed and uh, water is not leaking, dripping, it's fine. So, at the moment this is uh, working. This is Calcium Octo 140 with the uh, Vario S2 pump, as you can see the bottom. And at the moment, uh, this is the bubble speed, uh, CO2 bubble speed. It's nearly a second or even just a tenth of a, less than a second. So this is where I have sat since last 48 hours. Uh, this is my CO2 cylinder which is basically a fire extinguisher system. I just uh, have got it this, uh, uh, its regulator or stopper you can say changed. Uh, this is uh, um, UP uh, company regulator basically for fresh water um, and it seems a little copy to me. <coughs> Sorry. But the best thing is that uh, its regulator is uh, patented and uh, made in uh, US so or made in Taiwan sorry uh, so this was the only thing available during these COVID days and um, so uh, I have installed it and uh, at the moment the pressure is around uh, 1000 kg here and uh, around 5 bar here on the outside so this is where the dial I, I tune in this uh, small dial I have dialed it around one uh, bubble per second for first 24 hours then a little less than one second and uh, the media was also not available so the all the corals um, uh, uh, the crush that I could get my hand on uh, it's available and its total size is around uh, weight is around 1.5 kg uh, in between white stuff you can see is the magnesium uh, remac now this is uh, the channel outlet the uh, ph probe is connected to uh, my apex at the orp slot i had disabled orp and i have enabled ph2 here and uh, that was the thing and then for this is basically not even apex uh, this is henna pro and uh, <clears throat> i had to just recalibrate it the second ph2 to four and seven solutions that i did and it's working fine now apex is what is controlling this on off now what i will show next is <clears throat> this is my uh, ph2 limit 6.52 to 6.80 and uh, this is how uh, it's the as long as the as the pg ph reaches 6.52 my apex shuts off this uh, this co2 solenoid which is connected here yeah, behind this bag in in this black socket so uh, i am driving it with apex i don't have any uh, ph controller especially separately now I have this expensive carbon dozer. It's just a fresh plant, uh, fresh water aquariums plant uh, solenite that I'm going to get through. And uh, now coming over to the effluent flow that is coming from uh, this is CO2 circulator, and this is what uh, this white pipe is basically the effluent out, and it is coming. And here, this is coming from here. I have the wall, one wall here, and then the final uh, drip is here. So at the moment, the speed you can see is around 11 milliliter per minute that I have set, and uh, with this uh, less than a second bubble count of CO2 and 11 um, I mean sorry 16 this is 16 not uh, 10 is 
this line and this is 15 and then the 16 so this is 16 ml per uh, minute uh, effluent flow and since last 24 hours it is uh, rather 48 hours um, the alkalinity is uh, static at 8.2 during night time the alkalinity increases in the morning it's at 8.3 and during this last uh, nearly about an hour left uh, before the lights uh, go off and um, at this time the alkalinity is uh, low because corals have mostly uh, consumed it during the daytime so this is uh, <clears throat> my setting if you have any question query uh, you may like to ask me inbox and uh, feel free to critique and uh, any suggestion guidance for me please do that so don't forget to uh, like and subscribe as usual it helps me staying motivated and making new videos for you so till next time see you a lot